Hi, everybody. My name is Ryan today, and we are here talking about the iTeraCare device and how we can utilize it to not only help ourselves, but help our family members. And today, specifically, talking about our pets, those loved ones, those parts of our family uh, that need help at times, too. So I'm here with Dr. Gus Brooks. Dr. Gus Brooks, pleasure to see you. Hello. How's everybody doing? I think we're all doing great. We're excited to be here and to uh, to hear a story about Cowboy and such. I've got some amazing pictures to share. But first, before I show those pictures, uh, you know, Dr. Brooks, tell me tell me what happened with Cowboy. What what's the story here? What what happened? Okay, well, I have uh, I'm a veterinarian. I've been practicing 31 years, so I've kind of seen uh, a little bit of everything. And uh, last year, we noticed on our dog Cowboy on his outer lip on his upper left side, he started a growth. And, you know, I started at first, I just kind of started watching it because he's a young dog, he's under two. So the, you know, the worst case scenario would be something like squamous cell carcinoma when it's in the oral area. And I figured he was really too young for that, you know, but um, you still have to consider it. And the best case scenario would have been trauma, right? That he hurt it on something bit or something like that. Well, as time went by, it started to get grow bigger and bigger and get worse and worse. So at this point, I kind of considered it to be like a fibroma or a cyst, okay? So um, what happened was my girlfriend Gina says, you know, at this point, cause it was starting to get worse. She said, why don't we start wanding it? And I, sure, let's give it a go. So we kind of just kind of half-heartedly started doing that. We really weren't consistent with it. And uh, during this process, it actually seemed to get worse. It became ulcerative and got large. And you'll see that in the pictures as it got worse. So then I said, okay, forget it. This is, um, this is getting worse. I'm gonna schedule him for surgery. And, um, and I was gonna have to reconstruct his lip. If you look at it, because it's right on the commissure, it would mess with the, the whole oral mu um, mu <clears throat> mucocutaneous junction. So she said, you know what? We're not doing this right. Give me a week. And I said, fine. So she started religiously wanding it on um, what setting, the low two? Setting two, low cool. Setting two, low cool, because you know it's in his face and you can't have that hot air blowing in his face and it's hard enough to hold him. So we started doing it and she started religiously doing it. And after a week, it started to look better. After two weeks, I was amazed at how much it was going down. And right now I'm gonna show you his lip right here. If I can get that, hang on. Can't see anything. You it can't right see there. anything. Right. And you'll see that on the pictures. And it, it's just, um, he totally alleviated surgery. It didn't take nearly as long as we still weren't doing it. We were trying to do it twice a day for five minutes. And certain days we'd get it and other days we weren't because he wasn't very tolerant. But you can tell there's just nothing there now. He looks perfect. Oh. And uh, totally alleviated surgery and it is totally gone. And I would say that beginning to end, four weeks at the most? Maybe even three weeks. I don't think, yeah, she said not even three weeks. And it, it was amazing at how, I think that when we were doing it haphazardly, it actually was doing something, but it was, re, it was making it active. And that's why it probably started to get a little worse. But then, and then as we stepped it up, that's when the magic happened and it started going away. So it was, uh, and I've never seen anything. I, I told her, I said, I always had to cut these out. And this was the first one, didn't have to. So it, it, it was quite amazing. What a beautiful story. I'm so happy to see him there with you, with you all happy and happy and vibrant and looking good. And no, no, no sutures, no scars. Nothing, <laughs> totally, totally uh, non-invasive procedure. He uh, just holding him and blowing it in, in a position of like towards the, you know, towards this way, towards the front, so it wouldn't dry out his eyes, right? And not be directly in his nose, you know? So if you're working with your animals, you have to be cognizant of, of how they're gonna react to it. And he's a real tolerant little guy, but he, we still had to hold him in place and do that so it wasn't bothering him. It was nothing short of amazing how quickly that went away and we didn't have to do any surgery or anything. I'm going to go ahead and share these photos now. I want to show these photos. Okay, so there he is afterwards. So walk me through some of this. This was, th this, th this seems to be the worst here. Yeah, I mean, see, people are going to, I mean, look at that. That's when I, I was just kind of like, 
it became it, it was outgrowing its blood supply and what happens when you have tumors okay is there non lattice formation like your body when it grows things it grows it in a lattice format that is organized with with uh blood with arterial blood going to it venous blood coming away and nervous innervation when you have tumors and they grow um you know basically haphazardly they don't grow in a lattice network so as a result they outgrow their blood supply because there's no organization to the tissue that's why it just keeps growing and and that's what is one of the reasons why it's deemed cancerous is because there's no organization there's no uh, negative feedback there's no on or off it's just always on it just keeps growing so when it got to that level i i told gene i said listen we're gonna have to do surgery or he's gonna be we're, i'm gonna have a difficult time getting that out without him being having some um, malformation to his face. And she said, well, give me, let's just really try to do this. And I, and I okay, you know, we don't have much to, and I said, but if it keeps getting worse, we're gonna have to stop because like we had done it haphazardly, it was getting worse. Well, she started doing it and it hit a plateau. And you can see with the pictures that it, all of a sudden it starts getting better, better dramatically, like very quickly. And then it just keeps shrinking down. And I kept telling her, because she's going, see, it's working. I said, okay, but wait a minute. It has to totally disappear before I give it the thumbs up and say it worked. And uh, sure enough, it's totally disappeared. And it's been gone for months. Uh, just another side note is we do Itera care all the water that we give all of our animals and ourselves that we drink. So that's another thing we do is we, you know, before we uh, put it in their dish, we do that. We, we do uh, wand the water. Talk to me about that process. What do you do to wand the water? Well, so my girlfriend, Gina, is the one who does it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I, I don't want to take credit for that. But she just, you know, she just puts it in a in a container and, and stands and holds the wand directly down onto it and wands it for a good minute. That's all it takes, just a minute. Yeah, and then and then it goes directly into their dish. And we want and then the water for ourselves, she wands that too. So, you know, we we only drink wanded water, you know. That's a beautiful thing. What a beautiful family. And I am so happy for you. And I'm happy for Cowboy. Congratulations, Cowboy. I'm glad that you didn't have to go underneath the knife. No anesthesia. None of that. <laughs> Just healthy, happy puppers. I'm so happy for you. Well, if, and if you think of the cost, like obviously he gets it done. Anything he needs done, I do it. And it's not free, right? But it's still like it's for free, right? Because I don't charge myself. But the cost to remove that could have easily been a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in addition to the pain and suffering he'd have to go through and so you know i mean when i say suffering it's you know he'd, he'd go through some pain it would you know it would be necessary but he'd go through that what would that healing process look like antibiotics for at least a week he'd be on pain med for at least a week he would have to wear an e-collar a cone around his head so he doesn't scratch out the sutures the sutures would be dissolving so we wouldn't have to do anything there but it would be at least a two-week period of time for that to heal and he'd have to wear a cone for two weeks. That can be a nightmare, you know, for these guys. You know, it's necessary, but it's, you know, it, it is not fun for them. So it's, it's a major disruption to your life and their life. It's, you know, $1,000, $1,500. And, and the day of the surgery, you're gonna worry like anything. When he's at my hospital, you're gonna worry about him. And then, you know, and he's going to miss you. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, an ordeal for him. And this was very minor uh, disruption of his day to be wanted for five minutes, you know, because we couldn't do it much longer than that, uh, you know, once or twice a day. And you just, be, I, the key, key is consistency. Just keep doing it every day. And you may go through a little bump in the road, but if you stay with it, it will prevail and it will take care of the issue. And so for a period of a, of a few weeks, to be able just to do be consistent about it and to do that you saved yourself a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars you saved the heartache and the trauma of the antibiotics and the hardness on his system the painkillers that he'd have to go on and off of and and not to mention the heartache and disruption to your lives uh and instead you have this <laughs> what what a blessing what a wonderful way a testament to the self-care that comes from drinking the water, using the wand just a little bit on a regular basis. I'm so excited to hear more stories coming out of this, uh, the iTeraCare challenge. It's really not, it's really not much of a challenge to do something that feels good. 
And uh, and in, in, any other any other little last minute thoughts that you'd like to share about Cowboy and his story, or or how the Itericare device has helped you in your life so far? Sure, I uh, you know with Cowboy, that's you know that the wanting of the water, that's the main thing. And and actually, when my girlfriend wands herself, she does a whole full body thing. He sits right next to her, and he sits there and lets her wand him his whole body. You know, so he doesn't mind it. At, like on his body, he doesn't mind it. In their face, it's a little hard to have that you know, the wind blowing in, the, in his face, but he doesn't mind it on his body. Um, I have a an issue with my shoulder that most people have, you know, if you think about the earth going around, rotating around the sun, you know what I'm talking about in the shoulder. And uh, the discomfort can be unbelievable sometimes. And uh, when I have that issue, I'll come and watch TV, turn up the TV loud and turn it on high heat, uh, high setting and just sit there and wand my uh, shoulder and the discomfort. It's amazing how quickly it goes away and uh, don't have issues again until you kind of tweak it again. So it's it's very, um, very effective very and very, it works very quickly, which is, I think, the key. You know, you don't have to sit there. You don't wait days for it to work, you know, and things like that. Uh, headaches is another thing that um, um, the, uh, Occasionally I get headaches and my girlfriend will, Gina will wand the back of my head. And uh, within, you know, it seems like five to 15 minutes it's gone, you know, doing nothing else. And, and it stays away, which is great, you know. Um, that uh, those are the things personally, I guess, that I get out of it right now, you know, that are, I'm seeing results. Cause my whole thing is on this kind of stuff because of what I do for a living, I can't push something that is questionable. Just like what I do at work, I only do things that work, that are, are proven. And I always tell her, if it works for me, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work. So if it's, it doesn't work on me, I can't put, I can't believe in it. And this totally works for me. It worked for our dog. So this is, this is the real deal. You know, I mean, this is something that I've already started to start bringing up with people in my practice because of, uh, especially people relate easier with me when it comes to the animal stuff, obviously. So when I've started explaining what happened with my own personal dog with it, they're very interested. So it's, uh, you know, and, and the personal stuff is kind of a side note, but I push it more for the animals. Dr. Brooks, it sounds like personal care, personal care, pet care, maintenance care, acute care. It sounds like it's become part of your, the part of your lifestyle, part of your daily life. Oh, absolutely. And it's easy to integrate into your life. It's no big deal given us a lot to work with and a lot to consider and a lot of inspiration. Uh, so thank you for, for your work. And thank you, Gina, for, for your diligence and staying committed to going uh, to staying the course, doing it consistently, even in the midst of a healing crisis. For those of you who aren't familiar, that's what happened with Cowboy. It's very common that in the healing process, sometimes symptoms can get worse as a part of the healing process. Just like when we get sick, we get a fever and it starts to feel worse but that's our body going through that healing process so we can do it. And so uh, thank you for staying consistent and staying true to uh, staying true to that and, uh, and, and obviously getting the results and the benefit from it. So thank you. Well, thank you very much for having me on and let me tell my story. I appreciate it. And Absolutely. Gina says thank you and goodbye. Okay. <laughs>